I will not be a broke bitch at the end of this year. I'm sorry. <laughs> this broke life is not for me. I got depressed when I'm broke. I cannot. I don't want to. Uh-uh. guys welcome to my channel if you guys are new my name is Janine and if you guys are not new then welcome back so today's Saturday my hair casually just looks like a little cloud right there but love that for me that's considered a good hair day in my book okay so it's Saturday it's 12 14 p.m. and today I work at 2 o'clock my husband leaves work half day on a uh, Saturday which is like 12 o'clock so he just called me and said he's leaving so he's gonna drop me at work today and um, earlier I got up and I was hungry and I decided that I'm not going to make breakfast. I'm going to delay it until like closer to 2 o'clock so I can be very full once I get to work. And it's a good thing I did that because my husband just called and said he's a little bit hungry. So now I'm going to make breakfast and make enough for the both of us. So that just worked out very perfectly. I had already had some stuff laid out here. But what I had put out is not enough for the both of us. So now I'm going to have to go in and like just add another set of everything that I have out here to make him breakfast also I'm gonna make him some coffee because we love coffee I also feel like today I'm gonna need like a, a large camel frap or like a large um vanilla chai because I haven't had coffee in a while but lord okay no we're not gonna do that Janine you've been doing so well before just keep it up. Okay. Sometimes you <laughs> This is so ridiculous. Sometimes you really have to talk yourself up in your head. You know, be your own hype man or whatever. This is me keeping myself in check. We're not going to do that. I'm going to just hold out because I've been doing amazing and I want to continue to do amazing. I used most of the morning while I woke up at like 10 o'clock or sometime after 9 and I edited a video. I edited a few videos. That's another one. I edited a few videos and uploaded them. I uploaded one and then now I'm working on the very last two videos that I have. Those are already doing amazing. So this one I really just have to export it and then... I'm gonna be done so for the most part while I'm making the breakfast I'll be multitasking and like finishing up my edits on this one video that I'm working on that I need just be done and you know but so far I'm having a good day good good day and today's a short day at work so I'm not gonna feel like I'm there forever because I hate those days where it just feels like you've been at work all forever and a day pretty much we don't want that. So I'm going to jump into making the breakfast. I probably have like 40 minutes to 45 minutes before he gets here, which is going to take us to about 1 o'clock. And since he's dropping me, then we'll have a lot of time to eat and then leave. So everything is just working out perfectly this morning. Love that for me. I'm also prepared for if, you know, he doesn't get here in time to still take the bus and still make good time. So love that. And of course, if none of that works out, then I always have the last minute option off um taking an uber i leave that as the very very last minute option because one month when my mom was here i think it was in last year i realized that i spent so much money on ubers just because when she comes here she buys things to go back and sell and so um because most of those hours my husband is at work so you know he can't go pick up this stuff and whatever I realized that I had to Uber her from place to place and this, that, and whatever. And even though it was just one month, it was so much money. And I can just imagine on the months where I'm not conscious about it or I'm not, like, paying attention to it, how much money I easily spend without checking on it. So I'm trying to do so much better where that is concerned. So I haven't been taking any Uber. I don't have a Metro card, but I always have quarters with me. So a girl is taking the bus and saving them coins, okay? Because... Most times on an Uber, you end up you. I can't speak. You end up spending so much more than you would on the bus. And this year is a year of saving for me. I'm all about saving, and I'm very very strict with it too. Because listen, I will not be a broke bitch at the end of this year. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> this broke life is not for me. I got depressed when I'm broke. I cannot. I don't want to. Uh-uh. Anyways, I'm gonna go make this breakfast and stop rambling. So I'll see you guys later on, hopefully. Hi guys, so it is about 30 minutes later. Right now it's 12.43. I'm done making the breakfast. Right now I just have the water on the stove to make the tea. And I think I'm also going to make myself another cup of peppermint tea. Because honestly, my head hurts and I'm trying to not take painkillers as much, okay? So I'm trying to relax more and drink peppermint tea so that I'm not taking the painkillers. So... I'm going to make a cup of coffee for him and I'm going to make a cup of tea for myself and that should really get me going for today. But the breakfast is done and I'm pretty much doing just some light cleanup around the kitchen so that later on when I come home, the kitchen can pretty much be clean. Because I feel like there's nothing I hate more than coming home to like a dirty or like a messy kitchen it and the bathroom when i'm going into the bathroom and i'm gonna shower if inside there is dirty i really have to spray it out because i don't like that and i spoke about this before but our bathroom is white so you see everything on there so i have to go in more often and like clean that up and you know just so it doesn't drive me crazy so i'm not bringing any lunch lunch today because it's 12 40 and i start at two so i don't need to bring like if I bring that food, I'm not going to eat it right now. So I brought some snacks with me. So I have a bag with some um, some pretzels and some vanilla filled sticks. I can't, I don't know what they're called. I have Ritz Bits, small little packets. I think I have another one in my bag already. And then I have an apple. An apple a day keeps the doctor away, they said. I don't know. I've been doing that a lot lately. So let's see if it keeps the doctor away. So I have that that I'm going to take with me today have an orange but I can't really be bothered the orange is gonna take me a little bit longer to like eat it up real quick so we're not gonna do all of that I could take a peach boy these peaches are really going through it these are not even these are nectarine the nectarine is really going through it the bottom looks all I think I'll take it with me anyways just to have I have a plum there. So what I have, I should be fine. I need to get more fruits. I feel like fruits is one of those things where no matter how much you buy, after a week, like some of them just start going bad. They will live up to a week and then after that, everything just starts going bad. So I feel like f I'll make like fruits a thing that I buy every week and then, you know, the actual grocery shopping, then I'll do that every two weeks, which I've been doing so far. But the fruits, I'm going to need the fruits every week and they can't, they not really staying for long. The oranges are fine, but separate from that, and the pears are not bad. So the pears and the apples, the pears, I think I could buy them a little bit greener so that they will last. So I'll buy some a little bit greener and some ready to go. And then the apples, I could buy as many of that because the apples do last a while. But like the plums and the nectarine and like the peaches, those things don't necessarily last as long. So, um, those I'm gonna have to buy every week and, like, grapes and stuff. Anyways, I, um, I pretty much have all, everything ready to go. When he comes, I'm gonna pop that in the microwave because he's not here yet and it's gonna get a little bit cold. So, I'm gonna pop that in the microwave, but for right now, I'm gonna make the tea and sit down and, like, drink that and wait for him to come. Finish getting ready and wait for him to come. So, I'm gonna put my shirt on and stuff. So, I'll definitely see you guys later for real this time. Hi guys, so it is 10.56, almost 11 o'clock, and I got home a good minute ago, like hours ago, but I've really just been chilling because I've been feeling a little bit tired, and today too, I noticed that I started feeling like I'm coming down with something, something being probably the flu, which I'm not very excited about right now because... I really am not trying to be sick right now, but I've been sneezing my freaking head off. On a brighter note, I love how this week's shift looks. I feel like, you know, the because the days that I have are like behind each other. So I have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and then I'm off for the next three days. But I feel like this shift might just kick my butt, especially with how I feel right now. Because right now I feel like I'm coming down with something it's not the feeling I want to have right now, but it is indeed how I feel. And so I'm kind of 
battling in my head between oh my gosh I feel this way and then damn it's probably gonna pass but I have some I think Robitussin inside of there I don't know if that thing is for flu I don't even know if it's Robitussin to be honest but I remember seeing it on somewhere in there so I'm going to drink some go to sleep set two alarms just to make sure that I don't sleep the alarm out it's almost 11 o'clock so hopefully if I go to sleep now I'll be I, I will get enough sleep and be well rested for like a full day or like a full couple of days tomorrow is not bad because tomorrow is a shorter day so i always love to um sundays because it is shorter anyways i'm gonna end the vlog here thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoy this vlog and i'll see you guys in the next one Should be close and friends. Uh.